Welcome back to European Vizellas. My name is Matthias and welcome to Ireland. Our achievement Lucky at Irish uh, is almost complete. We only need Kent and I've taken a little look at the world. How, what has become of the world? We have got a total Spanish, South American. We got like a pretty strong different Africa I didn't expect. We've got Aust Australia still of the Portuguese and we got a pretty strong Ottoman Empire kind of funny because they normally don't don't do so well Spanish is kind of my biggest problem we in the last episode we took like this all and well at the moment I am tempting to think we do a no cause belly war and I guess we are going to do that I want to see a few things before we do that and cause belly war is this kind of war without well we're not able to fabricate a claim and it we're just doing it to get a foothold on on Europe because I cannot attack Flander and I do want to have this because this is an end node and at the moment this end node is making total of 29.6 ducat and we only get like seven we france got most of it that's kind of strange because i no 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 because france is oh yes france is a big part of it but if we get like these notes we should be able to have a way bigger part because then they got like can we upgrade this as well because i didn't even notice that current training power policies group relationships Ireland has 50 percent more trade power hmm interesting All right, well, kind of want to at least take Flander and therefore we need to start a war. We need to take land. So the first thing we are going to do. What, 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 why can I want this ship and this ship to become one. I need my trade army because we are going to a trade army, my trade ships. Uh, I'm tempting to get my troops out of America as well, but well, mm, tempting, not 100% sure because this is where Spain can kick my butt pretty well, and England as well. So let's send our uh, transport ship back. We have renewed a loan, yes, we. We also need to build like one more. Uh, we got a pot belly. No, my last visit is kind of enjoyable. We could also become buddies with friends. No, they are rivals. Denmark, can we become buddies? Royal marriage, something like that. Hostile. Why is everybody hostile against me? I'm not hostile. I'm Iris. That that's totally kind of different ways. Pens. Spain, do we can we become friends? Lions, no, we still have royal claims. You don't trust me. I guess that is going to take time. Spain deeply distrust me. Well, that's a pity. Austria, anything we can do with you guys? Because I need friends, I guess. No. We do have enough points. So we can already do two of ideas, but well. We need a lot of. Man. We need a lot of provinces that needs to become. 
Well, a little bit smarter. All right, let's uh, see where all the ships are over here. This is going to take us some time. Uh, what? France has for years now been torn apart by a string religion civil war. This is French religion war. Uh, send troops. I'll lose. Send troops to fight France. To support France. Well, we could. I guess they're Catholic, that's why we uh, I could lose 5,000 troops or 5,000 manpower, I don't mind. Maybe you guys like me a little bit more. Supportive France doesn't help that much. Because they want my subject. Alright. We are going to... Declare war to you. Oh, great, Brins. Damn. That was something I didn't expect. Brandenburg as well. What's with Brandenburg? Oh, is Brandenburg the Emperor? Ah. So I was kissing up the wrong guy. I don't know how strong Brandenburg is, so let's check the ledger. Because military, I don't think I'm able to take Brandenburg at the moment. Russia like 133, Spain 80. And Ireland's already over here. Brandenburg, yeah, 42,000. How come? Oh, I got like 60,000 manpower total, 51,000. Oh, I kind of need to put it up a little bit because I'm not the biggest guy in the block. But there should be somewhere I could drop troops, land, help a state. Oh man, I would really want to go to war with somebody. Couldn't do anything here. Just waiting like uh, six years isn't fun. And my king has died. That's the scary sound. And we got a crappy one back for it. Uh, but we do get a good air. Hmm. We still go. Oh man. Need a little bit more money. Then we can do something. There's really nothing we can do at the moment. We're totally surrounded. We could go and try and support you. Do you got any independence? Sweden's compass? No. This is kind of tricky because there is no way at the moment I can land troops and attack Denmark. Because Denmark has quite a strong navy. But I could see if I support them. If somebody else is going to support them as well, we could do like a support independence. It's too loyal. That's not going to do as well. Oh my god. This is quite annoying. This is quite annoying. There is no way. Kind of need to wait until Brandenburg is in a war. And then we'll have to drop everything and attack. Them, but I do think them it is in war with Denmark, but will still attack. This is interesting. So you guys can we become buddies? Hmm. 
No, you still think me is hostile. Can we take a new diplomatic advisor then? We need some diplomatic advisors. Not a good one. Back you. Spy network logo. No, all bad ones. Hmm. France. No. This is one complicated area at the moment. I guess the only thing we can do... We should step... Uh, local good modifier and what does this one do? Step into limit annex. Yeah, we're definitely going to do that. Alright, let's... Keep checking this because if we can do like a no cost belly war, if, if Brandenburg is losing it badly, but I don't think they do at the moment. As you can see, wars are being fought over here and wars are being fought over there. And we need to keep an eye on how that war is going. Attempting if we go to war with you guys, Austria will join in if we go to war with you guys. Brandenburg would still drop in. Kind of tempting. We could do a pretty quick one. I guess we have to try this. This is the only t thing we can do at the moment. Yeah, we are going to, this is going to cause a lot of aggressive expansion, but we need to slow down. I guess you are going to drop there with the fourth army. You are going to merge. You are going to block there as well. As you can see, the troops are dropping there. What? Alright, I didn't expect that at all. That was kind of scary. All right, pause. All our fleets. We kind of lost like big part of my army. <laughs> oh my God, that was really something I didn't expect. And if we offer them like a lot of money. Damn it, I didn't expect them to have that a big fleet over here. There is nothing we can do here at the moment. At least my biggest part of my army got back. But my biggest problem is that I lost one... A lot of heavies. A lot part of a tra transport fleet. Oh my god, I didn't expect that at all. Alright, let's see how they... This is just kind of neutral day one. Only because of that fleet. Lithuanian is also in. Oh my god. That was a bad decision. Alright, let's see if we can get like a secondary transport fleet ready. Because, well, we need to. 
We need to get stability up. I guess we have to sacrifice something because of this stupid mistake I made. Hmm, that was a pretty bad mistake, really. There's nothing I can do here. Too many armies coming in. Couldn't have even taken this. Need to be keep close eye on their fleet. Alright, if we pause. If we what uh, offer suggest offer what I don't give quite back to Northumbria Mills That one will give back Give course Notomia uh, to Great Britain that will No I do want to give this one I want to give you guys a lot of money I am willing to do something else. Uh, release a nation. Yeah, well, let's let's well not the complete of Scotland. Damn, 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 this is going to cost me. This is going to cost me dearly. Can I release that? Didn't even know that I could do that. Alright, let's let's just see what's going to happen because they are going to drop troops somewhere. I mean to my need to get my stability up. At the moment there is nothing really just this annoying fleet. That was kind of the biggest problem. Spanish fleet. How is the American doing? Still good? If only they had something in America, I would have been fine. I'd definitely be fine. I am wondering if I can sit this war out and get like the achievement. Oh wait, I see ship movement. As you can see, 70 ships, so let's get my troops in tactical position. Alright, 10k. Well, New Ireland has to deal with that. I wonder where are they going. As expected, 13,000 troops dropping in Cornwall. That is going to give them a little blow. More rebels. I still got the big army over here. Did I not? Where's the other? There is. I guess we have to help. I first need to focus on, on 
this because we got there first it's going to be like a pretty bad landing for them and this is really helping us getting our troops back to the tactical position because they can drop like everywhere and in the meantime because they're i think they are uh, getting up troops again I do think so. In the meantime, let's get you guys to there and that's all right, more incoming troops. Let's see where they land. See another thirteen thousand troops. So we get rebels, then we move on. Taking down these armies this way is quite a nice way of killing enemy armies. That's the beauty of England, being England, Ireland, Scotland. Blame the High King. Oh my god, great, thank you. No, we're not going to take the area. Going to stack wipe your soldiers. Right, so we got those troops. Because we did most of the fighting last time. Right. One more here. Can we. If only they had had those ships. So I kind of want to have one of those big ships build, build up my fleet again because we got like one heavy. Build a private fleet. It's going to cost, but I kind of want to. Our navy is too small. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, I'm building like one now. And let's get how many transports did I have? We got like five left. Two, three, four, five. Let's do that first. Move you guys back. Gonna boost my stability up. It's pretty soon it's going to cost me some points. Alright, so this is kind of the trick that the game can play with you. Uh, we'll give some money. That is our management doing poorly. Well, I'm going to take the inflation at the moment. But as you can see, it's quite busier there. Keep dropping troops. At least they're bringing in troops. Yes, as you can see, there are more troops coming in. But me winning those. Those are fights is good. So when are they going to drop it? Because I'm not seeing it at the moment. The fleet is still there. Let's see how we're doing in the colonial area. Ooh, this is also good. Yeah, that's definitely good. This is kind of crazy. If you can see, France just moved by with 50 ships. I don't know what they are, transport. Like here, this is 8 mediums, like 10 medium ships.
kind of crazy. Uh, one of our kernels. I'm going to gain some prestige because I don't have that much left. We got some rebellion coming up. English Shepherdists will let them come. Hopefully they are not going to be with that many. I could handle another army. Like getting a one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, and some cavalry and some cannons. That way we got like ten thousand men extra. Oh wait a second, where is the fleet? Where did they go? Where did the fleet go? Did they move to England or to America? Because that would be a pain in the butt. Although I got enough troops over there. So it's almost time and I kind of want to do it in this episode. I definitely want to, but are we going to make it in time? How long you got like in May, so that's one more month. All right, truce expires and well, because of that, we're going to declare war, do a double war. Got like a lot of bodies. Can we boost stability up again? These guys, you guys are all going to go into one army as well. So we've beaten up their army pretty quickly and let's see who are we at war with I wonder is somebody is smart enough to take that little land This is maybe not the most perfect way of doing it, but well. If they are going to fully invade my England, I'm going to have a big problem. I definitely am going to have a big problem. don't mind about that so we got those areas next I uh, hope somebody is uh, I'm going to send one army to that area I need a general for this one because else I'm going to have a little problem and another con oh, wait our air I want to see how good our air is all right Decent one. We got like this castle as well. We got like 16%. I don't know how much we are going to need for the Kent. I only want this province. It's the only thing I want. We need 14. That's not that much. Are you still at war with boat? Denmark you got like going crazy only your fleet weren't wasn't that strong only I have more few well there the fleet is again kind of annoying damn annoying 
Ooh, their fleet dropped over here. I don't know if they got troops with them. Do need to keep an eye on that. Alright, we got a little uprising as well. We could take care of that on the way. We are going to send our army to this area. Kind of risky doing that by sea. Can we get like military access? Yes, we can. All right. All right. At least now we get one army. I do expect you guys to win from those yet yeah, rebels. Need to keep an eye on our mainland as well. Alright. Can we do it? Can we do it? Can we win this in this episode? No, we need 17 more points. So let's speed it up and send the main army you guys go there as well All right we got self-sustaining colony is this like a damn mountain If we get access from you guys as well, can we go in then? Oh, then you can go. Oh, all right, constraint. Ah, so we got the troops dropped. They did drop them in America. That I expected them to come. Now I sent my army to other island. All right, can we? Can we? Still not twenty points. Speed up. Fifty-three. Oh my god. What are they, soldiers? Gonna need another general. Kinda not want to have the river crossing. In the meantime, you get like uh, five more of these. Kinda do any cannons more. This is really becoming a little bit of pain in the butt, fighting two wars. Especially with the 14k over there. Got these troops over there. We got our main army 90k coming in as well. And he is moving his troops to another area. Alright, let's take a look at the rebels. Want to come in from Essex. Wait a little bit longer. Are we creating? Yeah, we need to do this. This is 20, 36,000. We need to take down those rebels. Damn, didn't expect that to go that well. All right, that done. Let's see how we're doing in this area. All right, let's take down that army because we got like level three general. And let's see if we can finally do it. Yes, we can. And oh, not take all your money. I don't care. I just want Kent. This is all I want. Sent. Thank you. Now, the only thing we need to do for the achievement is make it a core. 
We also can have the last Mortal Navy. Oh, this is one hell of a booster. And we're losing like a lot of money. We do need to take another loan. Let's see if we can get our money situation back in order because I kind of like crazy armies. That's my main army. Where did the other one go? You guys go all the way back. Can we peace out you as well? No, you kind of still want crazy demands. Oh my god, that was... Oh, come on. Lose two, stability, nobles, peasant uprising in Northumbria. Oh man, I guess that's something good going to be for the next episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed it in the next episode. We are going to try to stabilize Ireland and to, well get the achievement. Thank you for watching and I hope you really enjoyed this. See you in the next video.